Hello everyone, welcome to the 12 days of fitness. Today I'm gonna to be explaining to you what the fitness challenge is. And here we go. So 12 days of fitness. There we go, here are the rules. So the rules is the 12 days of fitness is based off of the Carol 12 days of Christmas. Uh, to complete the challenge, you will have to start off with day one's exercise and then continuously add on to the workouts for each day until you reach day 12, where you will be trying to complete all the workouts from day one through 12. So for example, you're going to be maybe working with day one with push-ups, and then next day will be day two, which is jump ropes. So you would be also adding on to uh, day one. So You'll still be doing jump ropes, but then you'll go back uh, backwards and add on to day one. So you'll be also doing the push-ups that day and then et cetera. So day three, you'll be doing another workout, maybe crunches, and still be doing day two and day one's workouts. All right. So our first day one is the one-minute planks. Very simple. You're going to be placing your hands directly under your shoulders like you're about to do a push-up. You ground your toes in the floor, squeeze the glutes to stabilize your body, and then you're gonna make your neck and spine straight, flat, and then you're gonna push your hands off the ground, holding your body up for the desired amount of time. And the time that we give you guys is one minute planks. So try to go for that, and if you wanna go above and beyond, feel free to. And if these planks are too difficult, uh, feel free to always just either go onto your elbows or if you wanna go onto your knees, feel free to, okay? So day two will be two deep breaths. You're gonna be sitting comfortably on a floor or chair, and then you're gonna breathe in through your nose, and as you do, you count to five, and then you're gonna breathe out through your nose, counting to five, all right? Simple enough, next is day three. So day three, you got three 15 second body stretches uh trunk legs and arms so you're going to be doing 15 seconds of all these stretches and then you're going to repeat it three times so it's going to be three sets of 15 seconds okay so the first one is a trunk stretch you're going to start on your back you're going to be laying down on your back with your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor so it looks like you're pulling your feet curling it towards your uh glutes and they're together. And then you're gonna be dipping your knees from side to side. And that is your trunk stretch, okay? So leg stretch is gonna be a standing lunge. So it's very simple. You're gonna be standing straight up and your feet is gonna be about shoulder length uh, apart. You're gonna take one foot and you're gonna step forward while keeping the other leg planted down in a straight position, so a straight leg. Pressing down uh, with your hands and driving your hips forward until you feel a stretch in the front of your hip and groin and thighs. And then you're just gonna hold it for 15 seconds and switch to the other side for 15 seconds, okay? And then for your arms, you're gonna be doing arm huggers. So staying tall with your arms directly to your side about 90 degrees. Then you're gonna be wrapping them around your body, alternating your arm every time. So one arm's gonna be on top one time, one arm's gonna be on top the other time. And you're gonna be throwing them back as far as you can so you can get good stretch in your chest and bicep. Okay, so day four is gonna be four sets of 30 second mountain climbers. And mountain climbers are pretty tough for some people, so feel free to uh, do high knees while standing up. So four sets of 30 seconds of high knees if you need to, that'll be the modification if mountain climbers are too much for you. But to get into a mountain climber, you just gotta get into a plank position, make sure your weight is evenly distributed between your hands and toes. And then you're gonna check your form, make sure that your uh, hands are about shoulder, to shoulder width apart and your back is flat, abs engaged and head in alignment. Pull your knee, one, pull one of your knees into your chest as far as you can go. And then you're gonna be switching your legs. So taking that knee, bring it back down. You're gonna go back into the plank and then you're gonna bring your other knee up to your chest. And then you're just gonna be switching it back and forth, basically like, like a running motion until the 30 seconds is over. And make sure you're breathing through each uh, leg change. 
So day five is five push-ups. Very simple. You're going to be getting down on all fours, placing your hands slightly wider than your shoulders, straighten your arm and legs, and then lower your body until the chest nearly touches the floor. Pause and then push yourself back up. So that would be your push-ups. And if you can't do these, the modified version is to get onto your knees and then do a push-up from that. If that is too difficult, uh, try to do a push-off off like a bench and keep your legs straight for that one. If you want to go on your knees for a bench uh, push-up, you can as well. And then finally, for the easiest push-up, is just do a wall push-up, which you're staying straight up, leaning into a wall, and then you're pushing your arms right off, okay? So day six, day six is six crunches. You're gonna be lying down on your back, and feet on the floor, about hip uh, width apart, and then bend your knees and place your arms across your chest. Then you contract your abs and inhale. Exhale and lift your upper body, keeping your head and neck relaxed. And then you're gonna inhale and return to starting position. All right. And you don't really need modifications for this. It's pretty simple. The only thing that might help you better is if you have something to hold your feet down. All right. So day seven are seven air squats. Uh, very simple. You're going to keep your feet about shorter width apart and point straight ahead. Sometimes you can tilt it a little bit outwards for your feet, depending how uh, your stance is, whatever is most comfortable. And then when squatting, your hips will move down and back. All right, and then your your back is going to should be maintained straight, and your heels should stay flat on the floor the entire time. All right, and then in the air squat, your hips will uh, your hips will be descending lower than your knees, trying to drop it as low as you can. Uh, for the modification for this, if you need to use a wall to help hold you up and then dropping down, feel free to, or have a seat underneath you, so where you can just pop a squat and then get your uh, get up. That's day seven. All right, now we got day eight. So day eight is eight shoulder taps, each shoulder, okay? So starting up in a plank position, uh, but if it's too difficult, try in a kneeling plank position. So you're gonna be on your knees instead of your toes. And then you're gonna have your ankles crossed and your body uh, forming in a straight line on the floor and through the crown of your head. Now with the control, and while you, now with control while keeping your hips and shoulder level and squared in front of you, lift one palm to the top of your opposite arm shoulder and pause for one second before returning it back down to the ground. And then you're gonna repeat on the other side. So instead of uh, using your left arm that time, you'll be switching your right. Or if you, you just did your right, you're gonna be switching your left. Okay. And then Day nine will be nine knee tucks, knee tuck jumps. Begin in a comfortable standing position with your knees slightly bent, hold your arms extended next to you. Rapidly dip into a quarter squat and then immediately explode upwards, drive the knees towards your chest and attempt to touch them to uh, try and attempting to touch your knees to your chest. Jumping as high as you can, raising your knees up, and then ensure a good landing by re-extending your legs and absorbing the impact, and then you just repeat. If this one is too difficult, feel free to sit down and do a, a seated knee tuck, where you're just gonna be extending your body out from the seat, and then you're gonna pull your knee in, kind of like doing a crunch, but pulling your knee into your chest at the same time. All right, that's the modification for the knee tucks. You got jumping jacks on the next one. So 10 jumping jacks. And then how you do it is standing upright with your legs together and your arms to your side, bend your knees and slightly jump into the air. As you jump into the air, spread your legs out about shoulder width apart, stretching your arms out and over your head. And then you're going to be jumping back into position by bringing back your arms and then bring your arms back down. Then you just repeat. So in and out, in and out. And if you don't wanna do the high impact version, which is the jumping, you can do the low impact where you just take one step, one foot out, and then taking the other foot out. So you're taking it one step at a time. So left foot out, right foot out, and then left foot in, right foot in. You're just taking steps in and out. That's the modification of jump jacks. Then for dead bugs, for dead bugs, you got 11 dead bugs, 
each side. So lying down on your back, hold your arms straight towards the ceiling in front of you, bring your knees up towards your chest and bend them at a 90 degree angle. In the starting position, you should resemble, well, a dead bug. And if you need a reference, you can look at the photo above. It's gonna be the photo where she has both her arms straight up and her legs at 90 degree. So in a simultaneous motion, reach your left arm out above your head and extend the right leg forward. Continue the motion until the leg uh, hover above the ground and hold the extension for a second. Be sure to exhale smoothly as you go through the progression. After that, you're gonna return your arms and legs back to the initial position and then repeat on the other side. And that's how you do your dead bugs. You don't need a modification for this. All right, day 12 is a big day. We're, we've been working all the way up to this. It's the 12 burpees. So to do a burpee, you're gonna be uh, starting off with a standing position. And from the standing position, you're gonna move into a squat, moving your hands down to your hips and as you prepare to jump back into a plank. So the next part is after you squat down, putting your hands on the ground, you're gonna shoot your legs uh, back and enter a plank. And from the plank, you're gonna complete one full push up, and then you're gonna go uh, push back up to back into the plank position. And then next you're gonna jump your feet back up towards your hands. And you're gonna, uh, from there, you're gonna push off your feet and jump into the air, all right? Into like a full jump squat. And then you're gonna land softly on your feet. So the modification for this is when you're at the beginning, when you're in standing position, instead of kicking your feet back, you can drop down, put your hands down, and then slowly drop one leg back one at a time. And then you can go into uh, the modified uh, push-up position where you go on your knees, do a push-up, you know, push off. After that, you're gonna lift up your legs, bring it back forward, take it one at a time, and you're gonna be standing straight up slowly. You don't have to jump. And for the next part, you're gonna be doing the modifi modified uh, jumping jacks instead of jumping straight in the air. So you're gonna take one foot out one at a time and then one foot in, bring it back in one at a time. And then you're just gonna repeat the cycle after that. All right. And that's all 12 days of the 12 days of fitness. Hopefully you guys have fun out of it and enjoy your fitness.